Hey, I just had a quick question there for you. Sure. In any of your um, experience, did you ever have to take into a f into account the curvature of the Earth? I don't know. Oh. Or do you do? You, are you a surveyor yourself, or? No. Nope. Let me get you one. Hang on. Okay. Thanks. Hey Greg, I just got a quick question for you. I was wondering, yeah. in any of your surveying, have you ever had to take into account the uh, curvature of the Earth? For for boundary surveys, not typically. So the, we 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 measure or pretend as the world is flat. So if you see a distance on a map, that's the horizontal distance. The acreage is is calculated by a, a flat plane. Um, if we're doing GPS type stuff, we that would be you know considered. There's a, there's a difference between a grid measurement, which is kind of a GPS measurement, and a ground measurement, which is your deep measurement. Oh, Do you, I so see. For typical, for typical boundary surveys, that I mean, it's not. They're a true flat plane distance. Hmm. Well, I see on your website that you guys do measurements over water. We do a lot of hydrographic surveying. Yeah. I have a boat out in the water right now collecting single beam data. So are you, it's, it's, it's are you basically a GPS receiver hooked up to a you know, survey grade echo sounder, you know, streaming data through a box on the bank. And, and you don't account for curvature and anything like that? Well, the curvature on water is, would be water's flat and this, this, this pond's only half a mile long. It wouldn't take any effect. The GPS isn't that accurate. Oh, do you have an vertically? Vertically, GPS is probably accurate within you know half to three quarters of an inch consistency. Survey grade receivers. Uh huh. But do do you know what the curvature formula is? A poor a Portland? Not really. <laughs> no. Okay. I, mean, I could probably look it up. I mean, it, it all depends. The way we calculate it, it all depends on your height, on your height, right? Every height's different for the curvature. Yeah, the eye height of the observer. Yeah. There's a big mathematical formula. You take the center of the Earth's radius times. I don't know it on top of my head, but you know all the computer programs that is have that in it. Yeah, it was just they say that there's supposed to be um, about in ten miles. There's supposed to be about sixty-six feet of curve. That just sounds like a lot to me. I was just, that's why I was calling to see if you've ever seen anything like that you out know, there. Ge generically, uh, fishermen always used to tell me on the ocean, Earth curvature was starting to take an effect at eight miles. I don't know how true that is. Uh-huh. Back in the day when I fished the ocean a lot, I would hear a lot of fishermen say that. Um, I truly don't know, you know, as far as sight distance, when a, a flat earth, a you know, flat ground like the Willamette Valley, when curvature would take, you know, when you could start visually seeing it. I, I truly don't know that answer. Okay, thanks. I was just calling to see if you'd ever seen any curvature out there. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there is, but, you know, again, we mostly pretend we survey on a flat earth. Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. You bet. Bye. There you have it. The survey over a flat earth. And the only place there's curve is in the old fisherman's tales.